So I have this old Robert Shaw thermostat. It's one of the ones that is powered by a battery. So I don't have a C wire, but I'm planning on doing some modifications to my old system to make it compatible with this Ecobee Essential because you cannot beat the deal on the Ecobee Essential. And because I don't know what's behind here, I got the back plate just in case we need it. So here's the trusty Thermo Pride oil furnace and we've got our 115 that's coming in through here to the switch and then comes down to this junction box right here from the junction box the one we care about goes this way and comes to this controller so this is a tt style controller which means it only works off the white and the red luckily i have the blue and the green ready to go so that i don't have to run that up to the thermostat so the problem is that is all we have so i'm gonna add a couple of things on this wall to make this work for us now to go from a tt connection to one that has a c wider or to make it compatible with an ecobee style thermostat we need two things we need a transformer and we need this little relay or instead of the transformer you can use an adapter this is going to bring the 115 volts down to 24 and this is to make the thermostat operate properly when it comes to the transformer this one is going to work for 120 all the way up to 240 volts going down to your 24 AC volts or your 40 volt amps. And then we've got our white black. That's going to be for us because we are at 120. Simple, easy off of Amazon. And luckily we have the wiring from Ecobee that's going to show us what to do because we also have to use this relay. This is a normally open relay and this and this together did not cost a whole lot to make this work for this guy. Now there is just no good way for me to get a camera in here and so there's going to be some awkward angles and for that I apologize. But the first thing we want to do is check on voltage. Now because I have the switch I'm able to see right here I have power then I'll hit the switch and I'll go back in here no power. Make sure that you are in control of the power. I'm the only one down here so nobody can turn the power on except me. Now that we have the power off, we're gonna go in here and take this panel off. So inside the connection box, I have my white from the transformer going to the white in here and the black from the transformer going right here. All right, now that we're hooked up, we're gonna see if we're getting the proper voltage out here. So I'm gonna have nothing now. Let me turn it on and I should see about 24 volts if I'm not blocking it. Okay. Yeah, right about 24, 25. So it's right where we need to be. Let me turn that off so that I don't get a little zap there. All right, so now we put in our relay. Okay, doke. So we have our relay that is mounted right here next to it because I want things to be a little bit neat, even if you're never ever going to see it. But these use spade connectors. So it's a connector that looks like this. You find them commonly with automotive stuff. And I do a lot of automotive stuff, so I have the tooling to do it. This right here is a lifesaver when it comes to having to do stuff like this. So these right here are the IWIS ratcheting crimpers as well as their strippers. I love these tools. They work super smooth and we're going to have to use those once we get things disconnected. Okay, now it just so happens that to wire this for the Ecobee, I have my green wire which is going to hook in down yonder in point three. That's this guy right here. And my green right here is going to attach to that. So we'll just put these in here and put both of those inside my spade. All right, those are held in place. Now we'll find our blue setting. Oopsies. Okay, so we're going to find that. There it is. Make sure we're still secure. One, two. And here we go. All right. And it failed the tug test. So that is no good. Okay. Let's see. Tug test number two. Okay, we're good. Okay, I just had it on the wrong setting. So now that we have that, we're going to be plugging that into that number three position and that one is done.
All right, now to keep on with the Ecobee wiring of things, and this is probably pretty standard for most thermostats, honestly. Our white's gonna go directly into that relay as well. So, I'm gonna give you a crimp. Chug test, beautiful. All right, so that's that bit, and then our reds go together. So, because those ones don't go into the spade, we're just gonna wire nut it. All right, tug test, beautiful. Okay, and we're still not gonna use the blue, so that one's just gonna stay put as is. Now, the next bit is we have to have our white and our red from our TT connections going up to this guy up here. Luckily, I have some wire for that. Man, I love these things, okay. And I wanna make this a little bit neat, you know? But I just don't think that's gonna happen in here, okay. We'll cut it about right there. All right, so cut, throw, strip. Throw again. This is why nobody likes electricians. Okay. Oh, you do fit. And it strips to the proper length. Oh, love it when a plant comes together. There we go. Right there. Tug test. Pass. So you go there over the light. And you'll just come down here. All right, now for our red. And our last wire down here is in. Woo! Wire officially in. All right, let's get in here. So we have our white red hooked up, and if you follow those up to our relay, they are plugged in on the normally open sides. And we have our connections down there to our transformer. So this is going to complete the circuit how Ecobee wants you to have it done. And now we're not going to turn on power yet because we got to go upstairs for the thermostat. Okay, we're taking our cover off now. And we got to take our screws off so we can get to what's coming out of the wall. Okay. All right, now we're back to the back place. We're going to take that off. Now we're going to do the other end of our white and the other end of our red. Okay, so we've got that. Let's see then. Well, I'm certainly glad that I grabbed that back plate because, well, that's just gross. I mean, I'll have to put some paint on there, but you know what? That's not too bad. All right, so when we're putting on our trim plate, you're gonna need the little piece for the back of your actual thermostat, and it fits on there like a glove. We're going to pull these through the center. Okay, so there's those. And we're gonna follow the little level that comes with this thing so that we make sure we get it right. Okay. Okay, so the original leads are a little bit long for my liking. So we're gonna bring those down quite a bit. And 
now we've done that, we're going to plug them in as the wiring diagram tells us to, or how your original one was set up. All right, that should be our hookup right there. Now the moment we've been waiting for, we're just going to go and plug this guy in. So we hear a click. And we should be good to go. So let's go back down and let's turn on power. Just going to be watching this, make sure nothing happens when we turn it on. Hey, that's a good sign. Nothing so far. All right, let's go check upstairs. And would you look at that? It says, hi, we've got power. We did it. So that is how you can go from an old style thermostat on a TT wiring setup to an Ecobee. They lay it all out. Customer service for them is super beneficial and the app makes it super easy to set one of these up. So if you, like me, have an old system and you want to upgrade to a smart thermostat, you can do it.